I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about Monique slamming D.L. Hughley in Detroit. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. But also comment on this video. Monique slammed D.L. Hughley for talking about her contract negotiations. Basically saying Monique went too far. But Monique did not go too far. Monique stood up for herself and her people. Monique said she deserved to be paid as much as her white counterparts. But no, the coons came out. You saw them, Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry. They told Monique to sit down and shut up. Why they helped Hollywood blacklister. This is one of the most shameful episodes in black Hollywood. And lucky that 50 Cent is hiring her for one of his new shows. But let's get back to Monique slamming D.L. Hughley. Because D.L. Hughley is a Hollywood coon. He's always on the left progressive side. You notice he talked about Trump 24 hours a day. But now that Joe Biden's in office and he done effed up the country, he says nothing. And this is what people like Monique is saying. These are a bunch of coons. And I'm glad she called him a bitch ass nigga because that's what he is. He's always talking about somebody. If it's not Kanye West, it's Monique, it's somebody. And like she said, I open for the queens of, he said, she said, I close for the queens of comedy. You open for the kings of comedy. Yes, she deserves to be the headliner act because she has earned it in her illustrious career. Monique has been on sitcoms, had her own talk show, won an Oscar, and she's a tremendous actress. DL, you are not even in the same stratosphere as Monique. And to this community, Monique is a hero because she stood for something. She stood against the Hollywood machine, the machine that will pay black actors and actresses less than their white counterparts. And all of them sit or sat around and said nothing until Monique made a stand. Yes, she hurt her career. Yes, she lost millions of dollars. But someone has to make a stand for these black actresses and actors. But Negroes like D.L. Hughley basically saying, sit down and shut up. Take what they're giving you. That's not what it's all about. If they're going to pay Amy Schumer $10 million, why the hell can they pay not pay Monique $10 million? Monique has a better resume than Amy Schumer. The only difference is, is Amy is white and she's a small hat. So what is this bitch ass nigga saying? Like she said, and I'm glad she attacked him personally because I don't like the dude. He always got something negative to say. He's always pontificating. See, people like him will always have a job for the simple fact he does what the small hats and the white progressive tells him to do. See, Monique stands on her own. She's her own woman. And see, one thing about that, they will always respect Monique, but they'll never respect D.L. Hughley. Monique shows something to the young actors and actresses of this community. You demand what you're worth. And that's final. Because if you don't, they will give you the crumbs off the table. And that's what she was saying. And Monique is tired of grown ass men 
pontificating about what a black woman should have did is something that you should have did a long time ago. Steve Harvey, D.L. Hughley, and the rest of you bitch-ass niggas. Instead of attacking her. Just shut up, Monique. Take the chump change and go sit down. Well, she didn't do it, and I'm glad she didn't do it because she's better off. Her mind is clear. She know what she did was right, and she has support, support of the black community. Yeah, DL wants to respond. He responds to everything because that's how he so-called keeps his little show going. I'm tired of people attacking this woman for doing something that is right. Fear has destroyed the progress of this community. We could be so much further in Hollywood, sports, and other industries if we just didn't take the crumbs. We do it in politics, we do it in business, we do it in entertainment, and we had a woman stand up and fight against that system. And she was blacklisted. And very few people came to her defense. And that's sad. They'd rather be on the side of injustice instead of justice. And that tells you a lot about our community. See, they know all they have to do is put 40 pieces of silver in front of certain people in our community and they will sell you out in 30 seconds. And that's what they did to Monique. They know she deserved to get what she was paid, but they were scared. They scared that they would have been on that blacklist too. So everybody went hid or said something behind closed doors. But Monique has still prospered. She has still made money. It may not be as much as she would have made if she would have took the crumbs off the table. But at least her mind and soul is clear that she truly did the right thing. And this coon right here, D.L. Hughley, this man needs to be canceled. I don't like this guy. I have never liked D.L. Hughley because he's only on the side of justice when it benefits him, not when it benefits a woman like Monique or the whole community. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.